Welcome back to Erudition. In my previous video, I had discussed about the cell membrane. So today we will be talking about the cell wall. The cell wall is mostly present in the plant cells. It is that rigid boundary that lies outside the plasma membrane. The cell wall is non-living unlike the cell membrane. The cell wall is non-living and it is freely permeable and secreted by the plant itself. It is made up of fibrous polysaccharides called cellulose. Polysaccharides are carbohydrates. Thus the plant cell wall consists of tiny cellulose fibers called microfibrils. And like I told you earlier, it is present exclusively in the eukaryotic plants, fungi and prokaryotic organisms. The plant cell wall is generally a three-layered structure. The primary cell wall is thin, flexible, extensible and composed of cellulose, pectin and hemicellulose. Secondary wall is thick and is rich in lignin which gives strength to the wall. Then on the outer side is the middle lamella. This is a pectin rich intercellular material that glues two adjacent cells. That means it acts as a cement between two adjacent cells. In this diagram you can see how the adjacent cells are glued together by a cementing material which is the middle lamella. Now we come to our next figure. Here you can see that in the cell boundary, the innermost layer is the plasma membrane. We have studied about the plasma membrane earlier. The next layer above the plasma membrane is the secondary wall. And you can see here that the lignin deposits are present. And these lignin deposits make the wall less flexible, less permeable and more rigid. Then we come to the primary cell wall. This is thinner than the secondary cell wall. It is more flexible and extensible and helps in the cell growth. And then we have the middle lamella which acts as a cement between two adjacent cells. Now coming to the functions of the cell wall. So the cell wall is mainly responsible for giving the mechanical strength to the cell. It gives definite shape, strength and rigidity. It provides protection against the outer environment, any kind of mechanical stress or physical shock. It also helps to prevent loss of water from the cells. Then the cell wall also assist the plant to become turgid. We can say that turgidity is mainly because of the cell wall. In my previous video, I have discussed about osmosis, right? So when a cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, the water moves out of the cell and the cell material shrinks. You can see in the figure, the shrinkage of the cell material and this is called plasmolysis. But you can see that the cell wall remains intact. It maintains the framework. In the second figure you see when the cell is kept in a hypotonic solution it becomes turgid again because of endosmosis. Now coming to the third figure when water enters the cell by endosmosis the protoplasm swells, increases in volume and exerts a pressure on the cell wall. This pressure is called turgor pressure. The wall in turn exerts an equal an opposite pressure on the cell material and this pressure is known as the wall pressure. The wall pressure is equal to the turgor pressure. Now before I end my video let us quickly compare the plasma membrane and the cell wall. The plasma membrane is present in both plant and animal cells. The cell wall is present only in the plant cell. The plasma membrane is made of lipids and proteins but cell wall is made of cellulose. The plasma membrane is flexible wall and is comparatively thin. But the cell wall is rigid and comparatively thick. The cell membrane or plasma membrane is the outermost layer in the animal cell. Cell wall is the outermost layer in the plant cell. The plasma membrane is living and selectively permeable. Cell wall is non-living and freely permeable. The plasma membrane is present outside the cytoplasm and contains the content of the cytoplasm. The cell wall is present outside the plasma membrane. 
This was all about cell 1. I have provided the links of all my previous videos in the description box below. Do like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the bell icon. Thank you.